So welcome back to another episode of the PES 2021 Barcelona Master League. Today is the second to last episode. I do have 10 games to show you in this episode, so we are flying through the season now, and it's not long to go until the finish line. It's going to be a very close one, I think. Dembele starts the episode off injured, but we've got a couple Champions League games. We've got Copa del Rey action and much, much more. So I hope you do enjoy. If you do, leave a like. And if you want to see some FIFA 21 content coming soon, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. So the first game today is a Champions League match against Rene. And, uh, you know, it's not the toughest of opponents, but it could be tricky. We don't know yet. So in the 28th minute, they get a big chance here. They turn with Niang. And they have a shot good save by Testagen. That leads to the corner kick. And they cross it back in from the corner. We head it out. It falls to some guy on the edge of the box. Who's going to line up a shot and he hits it just wide. So early on there was a few chances for them. But we skip to the 73rd minute with Messi on the free kick. And he goes for one. It hits the guy's head. If that was a little bit higher it could have went in. But this match was very very boring. It was a very tight game. They closed us out for the most part. I mean, they had a few chances. They actually played better than us in this game. Pjanic in the last minute had a chance as well. We just couldn't get the free kicks right today. But yeah, it was just a very boring match. They had a few chances. We didn't really do much. So it finishes nil or At least we didn't concede. So here are some of the results in the round of 16 first leg. We've still got, you know, the second leg coming in this episode. But we move on to a match against Espanyol in the La Liga. In the 62nd minute, Messi with a massive free kick. What a goal. This match was also very boring. Our team is like tired. So they're not really doing much, and we just had to scrape through some of these matches. But Messi really saved us there with that free kick. In the 73rd minute, they have a shot. They hit it just wide. And, uh, yeah, it's it's this part of the season where the players get really tired. And um, fitness is pretty bad at the moment as well. Not much rotation happening because we're trying to push through the La Liga as well. And we do come away with the 1-0 win there against Espanyol. Not many chances in this game, but that free kick was the difference. And let's see how the table is looking. Atletico Madrid did lose to Athletic Club, which is a fantastic result. And it looks like we're one point behind now. And uh, yeah, we could actually win La Liga if we, you know, go on a run of form. So the next game is against Athletic Club in the La Liga. We had to change formation again. We had to rotate Marlon Martinez. The players are just too tired, so we need to change formations every now and then. We play it up to Martinez in the seventh minute. He takes a shot, and it's a good save by the keeper. And there's a little bit of a rebound there, but they managed to clear it in the end. It falls to Pjanic here in the 32nd minute. Martinez turns, beats one, and takes a shot, and it's another good save by the keeper. And in the 38th minute, there was a loose ball. I don't know what their defender or their midfielder was doing there. It was just asleep. Martinez picks it up, plays it to Dembele, who's going to take a touch, and slots it home. So we go 1-0 up there. Bit of luck there because of the loose ball, but I'll take it. With games like this, you just got to take whatever you can get, man, especially when it comes to goals. In the 51st minute, Messi with the free kick. He manages to hit the top of the bar. It bounces down, but we couldn't capitalize on that chance. It would have been nice if that went in. Martinez with a shot. Wasn't very good, though. In the 85th minute, another Messi free kick, and it's going in almost, almost. That was very, very close there. 88th minute, they have a chance here with Gomez. They hit it wide. 89th minute, Martinez picks it up. He's looking for a shot, and he does get one off, and it's a good save again by the keeper. Martinez was a little bit unlucky today, but we managed to come away with the victory. Another important victory in the La Liga, and it was another close match as well as we battle through the fitness and rotations. So the table still looks very close. We're one point behind Atletic, or three points in front of Real Madrid. It feels like that's where we've been for like so long, but now we've got another game in the La Liga against Getafe. Early on, we get a free kick in the third minute, and Messi hits one, just hits the side netting. I feel like the free kicks are like a get-out-of-jail free card. So, you know, you got to take them when you get them, but we just keep missing. In the 10th minute, Getafe managed to go 1-0 up, and it was a dagger to my heart because we really need to win these La Liga games, but going down 1-0 does not help. In the 30th minute, Coutinho plays it up to Marlon, who turns and finesses it. And he just hits a wide there. I thought he scored. In the 40th minute, Messi plays it up to Marlon, who turns. And Dembele's making a run. We chip it over to him. And he's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And he manages to score. Very easy goal there from Dembele. But Dembele is a guy that just comes in when you need him. And he knows how to score, which is fantastic. A big chance there and a big save to Stegen doing some good work. In the 47th minute before halftime, this is an injury time of the first half, they get a header. What a save by the keeper, and we managed to clear it. That could have easily been 2-1. In the second half, Vidal chips it up. They head it back to their keeper, and it just, you know, hits the top of the bar or something. Keeper has to go for it because it could have went in, and uh, it was a bit of a mess there, but they got away with it. Dembele with a long shot. Good save by their keeper. Getafe defensively were very good, so we had to try and push for something, and we got that little something in the 81st minute with Cucurella. What is he doing? The keeper just was sleeping. 
and it goes into their own net. We get the own goal. We have to take these things, man. In games like this, especially when you're pushing for the title, you have to take whatever you can get. And there was some sort of God on our side because, uh, yeah, that, that never happens. I don't know what was going on there. The keeper was watching, I don't know, maybe some woman in the stands or something because he just missed the pass completely and we get away with it. We won that game 2-1 with a bit of luck, but you got to take them when you get them. Imagine if that own goal is the goal that like helps us win the La Liga. That would be crazy. But taking a look at the table, match day 31, done and dusted. We're still one point behind Atletico Madrid and six points in front of Real Madrid. So that is not too bad. And we've still got some Champions League action to go. We're going to verse uh, Rene in the second leg now. We have to win this match to go through. Early on in the match, the first two minutes, Vidal concedes a foul, and it's a beautiful spot for a free kick, and they manage to put it in. So immediately after the first couple of minutes, we're 1-0 down in the leg. And it's not good because now we need to score two goals to win the tie because they've got the away goal there. Right before halftime, De Jong picks up the ball. He chips it over to Marlon and you know what's next. Marlon uses his pace one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and he manages to score with the left foot shot. That's all it takes, man. A ball over the top that's pinpoint accurate and Marlon does the rest. There, Marlon heads it over the bar. Should have done better there. In the 66th minute, we chip it over to Marlon once again and it's just a repeat of the first goal. Marlon one-on-one -on -one with the great one. And he manages to score again. So Marlon has saved us in this tie. We go 2-1 up, which means we are going through in the 92nd minute. There's one more chance for us. Here's Marlon with basically no fitness left. He hits a wide. And then look at this, man. It's just like the battle of the snails. No pace at all for either of these guys. Marlon comes out on top, plays it across to Griezmann. And Griezmann manages to score a third in the last minute of the game. 96 minutes in, and we won the match 3-1. And we progress to the next round of the Champions League, which is good. Next up, we have Villarreal, and we have to swap a few guys out at the back. Some have been tired. Some have those red arrows and stuff. So, you know, we could be shaky at the back. Let's see what happens. Early on in the match, after 12 minutes, Marlon picks up the ball, plays it to Dembele. Griezmann's making a run. Dembele with a beautiful pass over the top, and uh, that's a perfect finish there. In the 20th minute, Dembele with the shot. Not a very good shot at all. Keeper saves it pretty easily. In the 83rd minute, Coughlin has a chance here. The former Arsenal man... Couldn't score there, and that was basically your match. I mean, this was another one of those, like, no highlights matches. Just because the players are so tired and stuff, they're not really doing much anymore. But we've grinded out these results, these 1-0 wins, and uh, that's how we're picking up points at the moment. So let's take a look at the results. Match day 32, Atletico Madrid drew, and it looks like we've now overtaken them. Finally, we are on top of the table, and we're one point ahead of Atletico now. And we're versing them next, not in the La Liga, but we start our Copa del Rey leg against them. This is the first leg. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be a tough tie in the Copa del Rey. Early on, Diego Costa has a shot with the left foot. He hits it wide. And uh, I already know Diego Costa is going to cause me trouble. Messi with the shot there. Good save by the keeper. In the 33rd minute, Jordi Alba whips it in. We get another header. And it, the keeper didn't really know much about that one, but it just sort of hit him and it stayed out. A Griezmann with a shot there. Hits it just wide. In the 47th minute, Messi with the free kick. Can we score? No, he hits Verratti, the shortest man in the line, on top of the head, and it goes over. And here in the 48th minute, Pjanic has a free header. I don't know how he missed. I get sick of missing those kinds of headers because we should be scoring them. We get a foul in the 66th minute, and you know Pjanic has to step up this time, and he manages to score. So we finally take the free kick chance. The free kicks are very easy if you get them right, and uh, we have missed a few in this episode, but luckily we score there against Atletico Madrid. That is a big goal. But a couple minutes later, Diego Costa manages to score for them. What is the keeper doing there? He just leaves the near post so wide open. And we finish the match at 1-1. We get an away goal to take into the second leg. But obviously, the second leg will be hard as well. So it's straight into the second leg. No breaks in between. And uh, yeah, we have to rotate maybe one or two players here because of the fitness. So I'm bringing in a full-strength Marlin this time to replace Martinez up front. So let's see how we go. In the 30th minute, Verratti plays it to Correa, who lays it off to Diego Costa, who turns and just shoots it with the right foot into the back of the net. Diego Costa, too strong. Our defense has no strength compared to his strength. Here's Dembele in the 34th minute. He takes a shot with the right foot, and it's a bit of a mess of a shot. In the 45th minute, Messi has a volley, gets blocked. Griezmann with the bicycle kick, and it goes over the bar. That concludes the first half. Going into the second half now, the 60th minute, De Jong intercepts a pass, and Marlon is through, and uh, he's one-on-one, -on -one and he manages to score. So Marlon gets us back into the tie, and it's looking like it could be going into extra time. And uh, in the 64th minute... That's a nice volley from Costa and a big save by Testagen. In the 70th minute, Messi chips it over the top to Marlon, who should get there. And he shrugs off one guy and uh, he crosses it. It gets blocked, but it falls to Dembele, who plays it into Griezmann. One-time control and volley, and he manages to score. So Griezmann against his former club, looking pretty happy. As it stands right now, we should be going through, unless we concede once again. In the 77th minute, Costa turns and shoots. Not a good shot to Stegen with an easy save. 
And uh, here we go. In the 80th minute, Griezmann picks up the ball. The fitness is dropping a little bit on some of the players now. It's a nice through ball into Marlon, who's absolutely got no pace left. But he manages to still find a way to score. Man, this guy is incredible. I love Marlon at the moment. He's been incredible this season for us. What a save by Testegen once again. They did have their chances, you know. But at the end of the day, we win 3-1. We go through to the next round. I think it's the final up next. So this was the semis. And uh, yeah, what a big win against Atletico Madrid. But we turn our attentions to the Champions League now. We are versing Atletico Madrid once again, this time the Champions League first leg. I think this is the quarters. I could be wrong, but I think it is. And uh, yeah, we just keep versing them, man. And it's such a hard match to play every time. Imagine doing it three, four times in a row like we had to do today. Sergio Roberto with a big shot, and it gets blocked. That probably could have went in there. In the eighth minute, Martinez lays it back to Messi, who goes for the finesse shot. And the keeper with a pretty decent save, pretty comfortable there. In the 24th minute, a free kick from Verratti cleared off the line, sort of, by Ter Stegen. That could have went in. We've considered a lot of free kicks, you know, this season. So, yeah, the, the free kicks are a bit overpowered in Pez. But at halftime, I decided to take Martinez off, who was, you know, not really doing too well over the last couple of games. I brought on Marlon, and immediately from the kickoff, Pjanic chips it over to Marlon, and he's for on goal. Easy goal there. A bit of a kickoff glitch, I would say. It's a little bit of a bug. But, um, yeah, you got to take him, man, especially against Atletico Madrid. you got to abuse whatever mechanics you can. And uh, here in the 63rd minute, Pjanic with the free kick. Is it going in? No, it's not. Wasn't a very good free kick. Another free kick here, and uh, hits the top of the head there. And uh, I thought it could have, you know, caused a little bit of a deflection, but it didn't do too much to the keeper. In the 75th minute, Marlon has a free volley, and he misses with the left foot. Oh, man, I can't believe it. But we still pick up the win in the first leg with the away goal as well, which is crucial. And, uh, yeah, we'll play the second leg in the next episode. So it should be interesting there. Next up, we have a game against Real Betis in the La Liga. This one is tough because I had to bring in Atlanta. We've just got a lot of tired players at the moment. Messi even had a down arrow as well. So it's very, very hard to manage the squad at the moment. Maybe I should have bought more players. But in the ninth minute, we chip it over to Dembele, who could get a shot off, and he does, but it's an easy save for the keeper. We need to score some free kicks. Messi with the free kick, and it's pretty straight on. Keeper with a comfortable save. And uh, yeah, man, it's not looking good in the fitness department at the moment. In the 16th minute, Emerson with the shot. Good save by the keeper. And then we move on to the 62nd minute. Elena bringing it forward. Elena was not too bad in this game, so I might give him some more games if we need him. Marlon with the turn and shoot. Good save by the keeper. We couldn't get the rebound. In the 90th minute, the ref blows the whistle and it finishes a draw. Nil all, man. Not a good result, especially because we're trying to win La Liga as well. But... It was just bad because the players are tired. You're trying to rotate the players while keeping the best team on as possible. And, man, it's just not much you can do. So we're one point behind Atletico now once again. Real Madrid four points behind. But there's still a few games to go, and we could still win La Liga. You'll have to find out in the next episode. So in the last episode, there should be about 10 games left, and we're going to complete everything next episode. All the seasons, all the Champions League, all the Copa del Rey stuff. We're going to play Atletico Madrid as well. Real Madrid in the Copa del Rey final and the Champions League final if we get there. If we don't get there, obviously we save a few games, but it's going to be an interesting episode. Please do not miss it. It's going to be coming out really soon. Make sure you are subscribed. And in the meantime, if you need something else to watch, please hit the card in the middle. It'll take you to another video. I'll see you next time.